And now I'd like to bring on Sports Showtime reporter Josh Nix and our very special guest to the set, Joey Giglio from KLSU Sports. Thanks for coming on, guys. No problem. As hopefully all of you know by now, the NBA season started Tuesday night. I don't know about you guys, I'm really excited about it. Joey, we're going to start with you. What team, in your opinion, has the best chance to take home the title this year? I like the Indiana Pacers this year. I think they got a very complete ball club. I think uh, they have one of the best players in the NBA in uh, Paul George. I also think they have one of the best big men in the game as well in uh, Roy Hibbert. And I think the two of them combining forces, I think they're going to be a pretty tough challenge for the Miami Heat. What about, what about Paul George? What, what, what about him? What do, you, what do you think he brings to this team that is unique? Well, if you watched the game last night against the New Orleans Pelicans, quite frankly, he makes a lot of shots that a lot of guys can't make. Uh, you saw last night him hit a lot of shots with, with a hand in his face. And um, I think he's a very, very special talent. I think, uh, really, in the East, he's the biggest contender to LeBron James. I think Pacers, I think, really going to do he, good He's things. a great perimeter defender, too. And if you're going to beat Miami, you've got to have somebody out on the perimeter that can at least handle LeBron a little bit. Paul George is personally my, de my defensive player of the year. So I think that's why I like Indiana to actually make the finals. But I'll reveal who I'm going to think. So, so right your now. team, do they have exactly. a great perimeter defender? Um, Yes, they do. They, they very much do. The San Antonio Spurs are my pick to win the NBA championship this year. They were so close last year, 30 seconds away. They just had to make a few free throws, and they would have taken down the Miami Heat. This year, it seems pretty much the same. They did lose Gary Neal, but they still have great three-point shooting. Danny Green's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Tony Parker runs that offense perfectly. Lateral passing is always great, always smooth. The team has great chemistry. Duncan's still a dominant player despite his age. And Kawhi Leonard, one of the most underrated, underappreciated players in this league. I love what that guy does at the three. He's one of the best defenders in the NBA. He's a great three-point shooter. He's got that corner three down. Popovich, best coach in the NBA, even though he made a little mistake at the end of game six last year, keeping Duncan in, not having, excuse me, not having Duncan in as the last possession uh, to get that rebound when Ray Allen hit the three. But at the end of the day, I like the Spurs to come back. I like the Pacers to make the finals, but I think the Spurs are a more experienced team. I think they're a, better, a good matchup for the bad matchup for the Indiana Pacers, I think they take it home. And show. one thing you always say about the Spurs, you can never count them out. Move, never, now, moving never. on to teams that are maybe a little bit more under the radar. You know, they made some uh, off-season acquisitions that really kind of started to put them into the limelight. What, to you, what is a dark horse team that you think can come in and win the title? Well, I think that the Golden State Warriors, uh, with the addition of Andre Iguodala, I think they're a terrific team. Uh, Iguodala just gives them that much more depth, and they have one of the most exciting players in the NBA and Seth Curry. The man just shoots light out. Last year he set the record for uh, highest three-point field goal percentage in a single season. And the, he's a very selfless player at the same time. He hits the open man. And I think that that team has very good continuity. They made some noise last year in the playoffs. And I can certainly see them building off of that into this season. Uh, they also have David Lee, who is a valuable asset, a terrific NBA veteran. And I think they can really, really grow off of last year's momentum. Yeah, absolutely. Warriors look like a really quality team this year, especially after they're just beat down the Lakers last night. Josh, who are you picking? <coughs> I'm going with the Houston Rockets. The thing with the Rockets is I'm not sure if they're necessarily a dark horse. They're kind of in between. But anyway, the Houston Rockets, obviously they signed Dwight Howard. one of the biggest moves of the offseason. But uh, the, we're going to see how the combination of Harden and Howard, see what chemistry they create. But really, this team has potential to be like the 09 Orlando Magic, except they have an elite playmaker and score on the perimeter in Harden. I also think this team is a candidate to make another trade. I know some people think Maury's already done a lot, but they do have some assets. Jeremy Lin's contract, Omer Asik. I've heard Omer Asik for Ryan Anderson might be in the talks. That would be a great move for Houston. Great move for both teams, actually. But Houston's got a lot of three-point shooting. They're a great young team. And, Harden is a legit play. He's a, definitely a top 10 player in this league. I think he's at least a top five MVP candidate. And I think Houston, if things go their way, OKC, Westbrook never gets it right. San Antonio gets some injuries. Ginobili's not quite the same this year. I, Houston could sneak into the finals and, you know, maybe give Miami a little trouble. Miami has no bigs to defend Howard, so we'll see how that turns out. Well, hey, guys, both great points. You know, it's going to be a great season. Love to see how it turns out.